I will now try to introduce another very important concept in pathology. It's the word borderline. Well, to you, borderline may represent a song by Madonna. But for a pathologist, borderline refers to the fact that he's looking at a tumor that doesn't look completely benign, but perhaps uh, he's worried about it for some other reason. So he really can't fully predict 100% how this is going to turn out. And that's why in the classification of Mullerian-derived tumors, uh, the serous and the mucinous uh, tumors, frequently the term borderline is used. Here is another ovary. Here is another ovarian tumor. This looks like a sort of normal ovarian stroma. Here is the tumor involved. Notice it has an overall papillary configuration. Uh, notice also it is glandular. It has sur surface epithelium. Notice that it is attached uh, to this cystic area. This could have very easily been called a serous papillary uh, cystic tumor. Now, it could be called a cyst adenoma if we were 100% sure it was benign, or a cyst adenocarcinoma if we were 100% sure it's malignant. Well, what if we're not 100% sure, even after we all look at it and we're not still not sure? The nice features making this look benign is that the capsule or the wall of the cyst is not invaded at all. The thing that might appear worrisome, however, is that if you look at some of the epithelium within these papillary serous structures, they might not look uh, terribly nice. They may be a little more uh, pleomorphic, lumpy, bumpy, dark, more mitoses than you would like to see. So for that reason, this was classified as a borderline ovarian tumor. And specifically, it could have been called, for example, a papillary serous tumor of a borderline uh, or perhaps of borderline malignant potential. Thank you very much.